Welcome back everyone. Today's project is a rocker arm shaft for a Nissan forklift. It's an A15 motor. I can't buy a rocker arm shaft for it anymore. I found one on eBay, but it was 200 bucks in Japan. And with my luck, it's going to be wrong and it won't work. So I decided to make one. So normally they're out of hardened steel, but I can't drill sideways through that because the only linear shaft that I could get is Rockwell 60. And even with carbide bits, I tried it, it just won't drill through. So I'm using chrome shaft that at least gives it a 2000s hard casing on the outside. And it's smooth. And with oil, it should lubricate. So they're a good friend of mine who I did this for, so I figure I'll ask for forgiveness if something fails. But eh, nothing should happen. It should run just fine for another 30 years. The tricky part is, is I'm going to drill this and I've got to drill a hole all the way through and this is 15 inches deep. And this is where I'm going to start using my mist coolant. It works really well. It makes it so it's, it's just not messy. Now it's about to get real boring, so let's put in a time lapse and get her done. do on this is my uh, tail stock has this nice little lever so that I can easily traverse it so to go faster I traverse the whole tail stock closer to my part lock it in place drill eighth of an inch or so unlock the tail stock pull it back clear the chips out let the drill bit cool and then, again, traverse it back in, drill an eighth of an inch, pull the tailstock back out, and I just do that over and over and over again. And uh, eventually I'll have a hole to drilled all the way through. I've got about seven, I think seven inches to go. Well, I've drilled, I don't know, three inches, whatever this is. 
So I've got four inches to go, which isn't bad. It just takes a lot of time, patience. So I'll drill halfway through and then I'm going to flip it, face the other side, and then drill all the way through on the other side until it gets through and then stops cutting. That way, I just equalize on both sides. I'm essentially making a glorified tube. Alright, set up on my mill. Got my numbers. Again, center drill, we are on chrome, so it's that first two or three thousandths it's hard to get through. Normal drill bit's going to walk, especially with a round part. So I know five eighths.
Sunday 16th trail. That chrome is just a real pain to get through. Once you get through it, it's basically like cutting mild steel. And yeah, that's why I center drill it because that bit would walk all over the place. It also doesn't help that it's getting a ton of chatter because it's just not held properly. I should have a second vise, but I don't, and I need to keep these holes accurate. that I drilled were for the bolt holes to hold the shaft in the head. Now the second holes that I'm drilling right now are smaller and this is just for lubricating the rocker arm. So I have already put this rocker arm shaft in the forklift, I can confirm it's working. Um, that's only about 30 minutes of use so far, but yeah, it should work in theory. And then I, uh, I reamed each end to hammer in a freeze plug to close up that oil galley and I made sure it's a nice tight fit, so everything's worked out so far so this one was a su success this one was kind of a long boring one but also informational if you ran into this problem let me know maybe I can help you make a rocker arm shaft thanks for watching and please like and subscribe